Hello everybody, today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to change particles in Geometry Dash. So right now, let's just look at the particles that I have right now. As you can see, there's none right now. To go into a level, that's a really hard level, so I'm not doing that. There might be still some in the UFO. Yup, and if we do another level, like Dear Nostalgist, that'd be a good example. As you can see, there's no particles. Except for on the robot, obviously. And in the ship, there's no particles. So how you do that is you go into Geometry Dash, you go to Properties, Local Files, and Browse Local Files. Show Package Contents. Open a new tab. You have to get it until you go to Resources. Then you scroll. Then you scroll until you get to Drag Effect. You scroll down until you find Max Particles right here. Right now I had a zero, you can change it to any number, like whatever that was. You can make it into you can make it into one hundred. Let's just see what it's at uh actually at uh four hundred. So we just exit out. And if we go into levels, there's a lot more particles. Dear Nostalgias, look at that. I think 300 particles looks really cool, and it doesn't lag as much. As like more, and overall, it's pretty cool. And if you want to change it back, don't worry. All you have to do is quit properties, local files, browse local files, da da da. Just show package contents. Open a new tab. Go to resources. Drag effect. Scroll until you find. Oops, I think I fast it. Max particles. We can make that to zero. Then we t exit out. Play. And now there's no particles. Well, except for when somebody dies. That's the oil section. And, and if we fly, there's no particles. And I like zero particles because they can focus, because they can help you on your straight flying. But it's just a recommendation. You can make it into whatever you want. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, tutorial, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.